what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd I give it all back, I give it all back Should've never be the same That's why I'm trapping pitching on the mission fast lane What's up y'all, it's your girl Brianna Imani and you're tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview. And today, who do we got in the building? Grease ball, I ain't with the slap. Yeah, man, block. Speedville Naughty, this bitch, you ain't already coming. We got Speedville Naughty coming from, where you coming from? The rack, you know, start rack in. You know, I'm glad it's breed, breed of them, you know, yeah. So, you know? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to New York. How has it been so far? How has your time been here? I fuck with New York. A lot, a lot. You fuck with it? A whole lot of New York. What you fuck with New York? What, what, what about New York you fuck with? Just, it, just how, the, the, how the bills and the block vibe is. It's extra mm -hmm. city. What I don't like is how y'all got no grass on y'all sidewalks, bro. Y'all don't believe me. Grass on stop because it's just in the way. We got too many people in New York. We walking. We got places to go. Who's going to... Grass for what? No grass. Grass is on land. Grass is on property. No grass. We got curved, street curved grass. Y'all just got street sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every motherfucker would. So what? So this is your first time in New York? Yeah. So after, after your first time here... You coming back? Like you, you've enjoyed it enough to, for another trip? Yeah, yeah, I'll be back in New York. I need, I need somebody like somebody who really out here. You know, really know what the fuck going on. You know, I need one of them. In terms of what? Like what you trying to get into? Both sides, female and 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 the uh. block, in the block. They know, they know like like our P Lo. They know. So they know what I'm talking about. Talking yeah, about. man, you know. You can see what the fuck going on out here, man. I fuck with New York. A lot, mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. So how would you say it is, like, just based on vibes? Like, how would you say it is based, I mean, compared to Chicago? Uh, just based on vibes. People, out, people outside. People outside. Yeah. Oh. I see where y'all be like outside. Y'all really be outside. Mm -hmm. Chicago ain't no outside. Unless you on the block. You don't want to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, 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 yeah place the wrong place at the wrong time. So, so. Mm, so let's talk about that. Like, what you grew up in Chicago? Yeah. And what was that like? Um, going. It, my growing up was cool. It wasn't like it is now. It just got to change because you know everybody just mm -hmm. doing their thing for this music. Shit. They want fame for stupid reasons. So you know. Mm -hmm. You know, it come with the wrong attention, but mm -hmm. yeah, my life is cool. I was playing basketball, baseball, football. You know, so you were like, you had a well versed childhood. Yeah, there was shit going on, but you had to like really go looking for that shit. Like, you know, it's so interesting that you say that, especially growing up there, because I feel like from a New Yorker's perspective, at least when we hear about Chicago, we don't really hear those that side. We hear it's like. Oh, not to say it doesn't happen, but it's mainly always shoot them out, bang, bang. It's always right. niggas outside. It's all, like, those right. are the stories that we hear um, more than, like, the normal lifestyle stories. So, do you feel like growing up, was there anything that influenced you to get into music? Um, I think I was at, uh, in school or some shit. In my, uh, I think I had a health teacher or something. Mm -hmm. He was just telling me about whatever you whatever you do in life when you get older, man, make sure you love it, mm -hmm. cause you're gonna be living life with a whole bunch of regret and whatever. Mm -hmm. So and he's like, you gotta be able to do it all day and not get paid for it too. So mm -hmm. I was just thinking what I was gonna do what I was, when I get older. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, shit, I like running around with the guys, fucking shit up, doing what we do. Mm -hmm. And what career is that? And shit, Lil Wayne and them rapping at the time, Gucci and them. So, mm. like rapping, I do rapping. So you were inspired by like Lil Wayne and them. Yeah. Nobody local. No one was in Chicago. By that time, around that time, it was like Bump J was the biggest dude we had. Oh. Okay. Solid folk, bro. And now you said that was in high school. Yeah. So what kind of music were you making when you first started out? Um, really, I was trying to see how like. 
how it go. Like, mm-hmm. and it's just always like some trap shit. Just always getting some money or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like, or some pain music. Either or. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you feel like you stay consistent to your sound as you grew in your like artistry? Um, I don't know. I've always been all over the place, so I never had like a direct sound. It depends on mm-hmm. what I would be talking about. Okay. So when you making the track, do you 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 look the beats before you start making before you start writing down your verses or what? Well, recently, like as a people who just giving me certain type of beats because they want me to like appeal to what's going on so they have forced me to do certain beats so I do them but when I pick my my beats it'd be different like so who, who let's get into that real quick who is it that forces you to like when you say they who was that it's just, you know, they have people in the industry be, you know, all these you know, people got different teams, you know, different people who they be thinking they know, you know, the rest of that industry shit. Mm. Do you have a team? I mean, I got my own little, you know, shit going on. Everything I do independent, though. I just got people placed in different places. Mm-hmm. Move certain pieces for me on the board behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. And you seem like you know, like, you seem very, like, savvy. You know what's what. So how do you know what advice to take from somebody when it comes to like your career in terms of like what people might just be telling you that's like throwing um, information shit it's just be like really i just do this shit because i fuck with it a lot so it's like everything else be extra mm. like once i like make the song and do the videos and stuff and put it out everything else be extra the interview the possibility of Doing a show, possibly doing a deal, just like any of all that shit. All that shit be extra, cause that's when it get irritating and complicated. Mm-hmm. But when I just doing the music and stuff, and doing the videos, that be the fun shit about it all. So mm-hmm. I just go off that. I don't be like worried about I right, now. What's the business aspect of it? Well, no, I I say that just because you were saying like. How, like, certain people who you're consulting with in terms of your career, like, they're telling you to hop on, like, different types of beats and different types of sounds. So, I'm like, how do you know when it's, like, this is a good tip? Like, I should hop on this Lil Wayne, another, like, back to my boy. He made that song, that Get Money song. Mm-hmm. And he ain't even want to do that. He ain't like that song enough. That's one of his biggest songs he did with T-Bank. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, shit like that. Okay. So walk me through your creative process. How does that, how does it start from the time that you have the idea of a song in your head to the time that we hear it officially after it's released? What does that time in between look like? It depends, it depends, man. Because sometimes, like, okay, if I got a session, like, if I got a bunch of book out for like a week or so. Mm-hmm. Um, I just go through my day, I already be locked in. Like, my brain is locked in what I'm gonna do, so I'll go in the studio and make like it'd be a five hour night from like 10 to 3. Mm-hmm. I'll go in there and make like five, four songs, mm-hmm. guaranteed. And are you writing them while you're in the studio or you already got them written? No, I don't write. No. You don't write? Oh, it's just off the top. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, what'd you say you're a good freestyler? No, I don't really, I don't even rap for real. I just honest shit talk. Like, I don't get on here, ain't trying to. Nah, it's you the death or no. Kendrick Lamar. Or and you don't have shit. to. I was gonna just tell you a whole bunch of honest shit, you know? You speaking from you your know, I might have a little rhythm or something, a little cool, <laughs> you know? But if you listen, I'm on this bitch, really. Yeah, so. Putting your ass down. So you get in the so you get in the booth. What's like the ideal situation? What you smoking, you drinking? Yeah, I'm smoking. Would you say that like music is like an outlet for you to get out? Yeah, that's the really like the only outlet really I could disappear on the motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Like if I had it my way, you know, I'd be locked in the studio somewhere and never. Mm-hmm. So I got like form essentially. And you say you you booked out the studio for like a week and stuff like that. What's the longest you ever booked out the studio for? Like the duration period? Uh-huh. Um, Just curious. That's a cool question. I don't really be in a school like that because I be really involved in real life. So. I don't know if I like a month. Oh, Three wow. weeks? That's the longest. I ain't like I did all 
time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one time. Mm-hmm. So you said that you were dealing with like real life shit in addition to the music stuff. Mm-hmm. So how do you find the balance between what you doing outside and what you're bringing to the tracks? Mm-hmm. Or the time you spend making the tracks, I should say. I don't know how to be doing shit because life's short. I mean, I, mean like, I can't really like, I don't like plan plan. Mm-hmm. She don't know what's playing. I just block. Mm-hmm. You know I'm gonna do some shit. Like I knew one day I was gonna come to New York. I just didn't never know. You had the plane. You just needed the platform. Just, yeah. Just do shit. That's why people <laughs> be procrastinating all because you trying to plan to. Mm-hmm. Just do it. So you just live like freely. Shit, you gonna die. What else you gonna do? You yeah. gonna plan? You gonna plan your death? I mean, no. Of course. I'm I like it. I'm just saying, like, people be planning everything else when they plan their death then. Mm-hmm. So you then just take life as it comes. It get tricky then. It's like, hold on. It was how about been making the right shit. Plan your death then too. Shit, I'm gonna see that. I don't know. So what's the end goal for you, or is there an end goal for you when it comes to your artistry? Do you see yourself being at a certain level? Oh, yeah, for sure. Depends yeah. on how long I'm in the studio. I gotta be locked in the studio. Like I gotta be like I know. Like you know how to be like in your conscious. Mm-hmm. Like you, it, anytime you think of something, it'll always tell you what you really supposed to be doing. But you be like, never mind. Mm-hmm. Like your whole day really be playing. Yeah. Your new moves, the moves you got going on, old shit you be trying to fix. Your conscious be telling you, all right, you do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. But you just never mind. Mm-hmm. So you saying once you actually lock in. So once you actually lock in, are you saying your conscious is what's telling you yeah, to get yeah, in the studio yeah, and to do that? Yeah, just what the heck. Just, yeah. So once you stop living life and going with the flow and you actually lock in, where where do you hope to see yourself? Like, where do you think it will take you? That's the beauty of the journey. That's oh, your, come that's on. Your, that's your good. That's the thing. Shit that you... You always scared about the change, the unknown, the better you. Like, you know that shit be hard if you ain't in competition with nobody but no. yourself. No. So you always trying to unlock your hidden potential. And it be the day to day goofy shit always be stopping you. Mm-hmm. Different vibes and et cetera. Right. But I'm saying like so there's so you're just willing to take whatever comes with it. You don't really have an end goal or a set place where you would like to see yourself. Cause that's what I'm saying. I'm saying. Oh, I see me in this like really being a force, like really changing shit on some new shit, like mm-hmm. bringing that, shit, bringing that real heartbeat pulse back. You know how the heart died? And they be like, you done? And they put that. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's me. I'm. A, y'all forgot about that? You know, bring that bitch back alive. Bring this bitch back puppy for real. Uh huh. Right now, so, a whole bunch of goofy talking about a whole bunch of goofy shit. So I'm just so interested. Like, if you had to choose one of your songs to describe you. What song would it be and why? Cause I need to. I'm. I'm. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta hear this. Uh, shit, it depends. If I'm just like just on some fucking shit, start tweet tweet. But cause I tweet with your ass in any aspect. Mm-hmm. You don't really know. It could be positive or negative. Okay. Really, like, I throw you off. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Act. That's interesting. Okay. And what do you think is the song that like got you lit? What's the song that people usually fuck with the most? Shit, cheat my lead. Mm-hmm. Shit, so tweet. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So I know we talked about the trap stuff a little bit, but you're here in New York and you're from Chicago. So I really I'm yeah, interested yeah. in getting your thoughts on the drill scene. Oh, uh, New York drill scene? Well, first I want to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> first I want to hear like how what? Okay, I've asked this before. What do you think like constitutes as a drill song? What makes a drill song drill? Shit, first of all, you gotta be from the rap. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you have to be from Chicago. You're saying yeah. to make a drill song. Yeah. Why? What you mean? Why? What What is it about Chicago that you have to be from there to make? So like UK drill, New York drill, all of that is a dub. 
That's what you say. That's that New York shit. That the dub, like that shit. <laughs> that shit over with. That means that like you not cool. jacking it. Finagle. That shit do not. Then I just heard Jim Jones pop on that bitch. What do you think he said? The Breakfast Club or something? You gonna try to say drill music is New York? Like what the fuck are you talking about? Well, I think that he was fuck? saying like right now that's no, what's going said, up in New that, York. No, he said that's, drill music. Right? But no, no. But that don't like that don't even make sense. Like how? That's what's hot right now here. But you know he's saying drill music like New York created. it. You ain't see that? I, you ain't see I that don't think that that's what yeah, he meant. Yeah, I gotta look at that interview. I don't think I don't that's that what that he meant. I, I think that he's that. saying, like, like right now. What he's talking about. I think that he's saying right now. I fuck with Jim Jones. Capo, you know, Capo, I fuck with Of course, but wait, hold on, because we gotta get into this because this is so interesting. And we, this is my first time asking somebody from Chicago their thoughts on this. So I'm very interested in hearing this. So, for one, I will say, I think that when Jim Jones said that, he's just, if we were to take a snapshot of the New York music scene right now, it would be drill. And I think that that's... It would be... Well, you're only saying that because you're being biased. I'm not being biased. The only reason... They want to because King Von hopped on the song with Fabio. No! But, so, okay. That's the biggest... Like. So you don't think, like, drill beats or, like, there's certain types of lyrics or certain types of things that make a drill song? It's just different. It's just not. I can. I, it's like. It could be a different. It's group. like. It's like Kobe and Mike. You see what I'm saying? Kobe tried his best to be Michael Jordan his whole life, but. But they he's still playing Kobe basketball. Bryant. If he just stayed Kobe Bryant, he might would have had six rings. That's why he only got five. But they still playing That's basketball. So you could have a Chicago drill rapper, a UK drill rapper, a New York, but they they all a still UK doing rapper, drill shit. A New, a New York rapper and a Chicago rapper. We and they can all make drill shit, music. Drill sound. That's our shit. That's our thing. It's not how could people be all trying to take some shit and make it theirs. It's not. It's not. It's just a song that they made. So just because Chicago, you can't drill be, is where you can't make a drill song if you ain't come from that club. It's like claiming some shit. You see how they just did crib match? Mm. Yeah, you just came flip flop and woo woo woo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it don't work like it just don't work like that. Ain't no hurt nobody feelings or discourage you. No, nobody's feelings like, are hurt. This is why the world fucked up. Now I'm supposed to run around this bitch acting like, like no, y'all don't even know what the fuck going on. Like but, this shit is for real. Like ain't no Chicago nigga get on right now, motherfucker. Rapping no song that y'all like. We got on talking about clapping the motherfucker ears together. We ain't in this bitch talking about two still or. A motherfucking uh, you catch me in the club, bottle full of bug. We ain't on none of that. Motherfucker on this bitch talking about we gon' get up with y'all when we see y'all. Every song that y'all like, like uh -huh. it ain't the song like. So it's like, but I mean, y'all, y'all, New York got real music. This is the motherland of music, real music, like most death. Motherfuckers who out here talking that shit, Nas and. Y'all got real music, real sound. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck would y'all want to call y'all shit New York drill? That don't even make because sense. Because there are there different that's New types York of music. music. But there are different York types. got a new sound. That's what y'all got a new sound. That's not drill. It's, so it's what? Not. But what makes it so different? Is it the authenticity of York. Chicago? Is that right. what you're saying? That that authenticity is right. what 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 drill is? Yeah. And that's why Chicago only has it. Right. But I, you, but I think that we the you, only uh, one, we we the only one understand. One, well, everybody from Chicago, and hear me say that and be like, I get what he's saying. Like it don't matter what song you can make, you can never make a drill song because you you don't even know the root. You don't know where that seed came from. You just watch some shit. You don't know where that seed came from. So if you don't you, even know the, the the energy, the gasoline, the nothing fuel behind that. You just like the song and did it. That's cool. Niggas ain't hating. You know what I'm saying? I'm not tripping or none of that. I'm just telling you how T.I. is. Like, so you, I don't really give a fuck about motherfucker feeling how they think about it. It is what it is. You made a good, good song that sounds good that you duplicated off some other shit. Mm -hmm. Not that you imitated because you can't duplicate shit. Ain't no copy or nothing. The you know imitation is the best form of flattery. Thank so you, why but it's not the shot? real thing. You know what but saying? why? So you don't think the drill is only like one talk of the town. You know what I'm saying? Another talk of the town. Some yeah, this the it's the it's the UK talk of the town. Yeah, that's cool. But you know, alright, as long as you know that that y'all stemming from us, 
And it can't. I don't think that. I don't but think. But it's odd shit. Ain't that, no, and that's fine. No, 